Okay, and it begins again. Another week with all of you wonderful people all around the world. Glad you're along tonight. We have three excellent hours of radio and information and knowledge and wisdom to offer to you. Hopefully you'll be able to take it and share it with others who still care. There is a great deal of discouragement in this country. It is warranted. I think there is probably a great deal of resignation to pending catastrophe, which I think now is facing all of us right between the eyes, even those who were ignorant enough to vote for sustaining the illegal, unconstitutional uh, communist in the White House, who who right now is uh, quite clearly, gleefully, most likely, getting ready to roll out what he was withholding and sequestering during his first term. We are about to find out, ladies and gentlemen, just how effective the training and the indoctrination and the mind manipulation visited upon young Barack Hussein Obama by his real father, Frank Marshall Davis, was. We're going to see Bolshevism and communism and socialism and all kinds of ugliness roll out of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and engulf what's left of freedoms in this country. I am not optimistic over the next four years and perhaps beyond that. We seemingly have lost what it was that we once had from morals to political scruples to honesty to integrity to a care and concern for what this country could be. And most of all, we've lost our our wisdom and our kindness when it comes to protecting childhood Childhood, of course, the most wonderful gift of each of our lives. With us tonight, this first hour, is our our friend and colleague, one of the great American patriots working in the legal profession. He is constitutional attorney Jonathan Emord, and I think he's standing by right now. Are you there, Jonathan? I'm here. Welcome back. Thank you. I wish uh, this was a happier day for all of us, and I mean all of us. But it is what it is. Uh, the, real, the, the reality and the re-election of, of Barack Hussein Obama, uh, as, is, as is obvious to most people, is going to continue the outrageous criminality in Washington, D.C. But unfortunately, that criminality, I think, is going to take the form and format of the federal government fighting among the few states which actually will endeavor to put up a resistance to complete federal subjugation by this regime. Uh, We'll see. It's already been shown that the feds have disregarded state law on a number of occasions, and and hopefully that was just uh, something in passing. I fear not, but uh, we can always hope. Tell us us your views on all this, Jonathan, if you would. Well, um... I, I, I think the election was an extraordinary turn that uh, many people did not expect. I think it even surprised uh, Obama, frankly, that uh, an, essentially an entitlement society has uh, grown so powerful politically that it can keep in place its principal advocates, which now happen to be the Democratic Party and the president. An entitlement society. Oh, indeed. And a perfect term. And it's, it's, uh, it's tragic. When we look at the productive elements of society, uh, businesses whose principles earn between, say, 200000 and and a million or more dollars a year, but are in that uh, category of those that employ the most Americans and create the most new job growth, uh, there is a state of panic. Um, they're right, rightfully concerned come the end of December, the Economic Growth and Tax Relief Reconciliation Act of 2001 and the Jobs and Growth Tax Relief Reconciliation Act of 2003, which created significant tax deductions, uh, reductions in the income tax, will, will uh, disappear. And unless Congress does something to allow them to extend those tax uh, reductions, this is what will happen. Uh, people who are now taxed at the 10% rate will go to be taxed at the 15% rate. Those taxed at 25 will go to 28. Those at 28 will go to 31. Those at 33 will go to 36. And those at 35 will go to 39.6. But that's just the start of it because Obamacare also has with it 
a series of taxes, some now in place, others to be implemented uh, shortly in 2013, that will do a number of things to the same category of people. Capital gains taxes will rise from 15% to 23.8% for those making at least 250000 a year. The dividend tax rate will rise from 15% to 43.4% for those same households. 43? 43.4%. Oh. And the... Uh, and Obamacare will raise the Medicare payroll tax for employees from 1.45% to 2.35% for the self-employed from 2.9% to 3.8%. Mm-hmm. And uh, there are a number of other changes, including an increase in the threshold minimum expense before medical expenses will be deductible from 7.5% to 10% of adjusted gross income. So there are a number of changes taking place which by a thousand cuts from different directions uh-huh. essentially reduce the profit-making elements of society, the most productive, to a position where they are least able to uh, employ more people. Many will go out of business entirely. And we're, we're, we're inducing a massive increase in unemployment and uh, and a re- reduction in the gross right. domestic product. And the, the obvious question is, how could an alleged intelligent, uh, even quasi-informed society or electorate commit suicide like this? It's an extraordinary thing. You know, the, 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 the habitual nature, I mean, as in habit, uh, nature of uh, entitlements is something that we've come to learn uh, is is so powerful. It's such an such an opiate for the masses. It is an enormous inducement. People cannot seem to grasp that if you if you look to entitlements to give you a pittance. In other words, you have a government that can guarantee you a pittance. Mm-hmm. That it is it is better to be a risk taker and have the possibility of earning much more than to be a person who is entirely dependent upon the state guaranteed an income.